and all that stuff. The Bible says, delight yourself in the Lord. You know, get, get happy about him. Get, just get excited about being a Christian. First of all, be glad that you're part of his system. Delight yourself in the Lord. I'm not going to walk over this because when I was going to church, a lot of times it was just walked over. Delight yourself in the Lord. Delight yourself in the Lord. Be glad you're in the Lord. Be glad you're in the Lord. Be glad you're in the Lord. Be glad that God sees you qualified to sit in a place and receive the word. Be glad that you're a believer. Be excited that you are a person of faith. Be excited that you have a church home. Be glad that tonight you are in here and not out there. Be excited that you had a chance to be online, but you stood up and came and got in line. You want your blessing and fresh. You want to be in the atmosphere. You want to see people. You want to smell people. You don't want to sit back, look on a computer to see who's going to be there. I don't want to be in the midst of them. I'd rather be in my own comfort zone. Now, uh, you, uh, Be delighted that you're in the Lord. I don't care who shows up. I don't care who says amen. I don't care who's not giving. You got to get to the point where you will delight 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 he said delight I didn't say it he said he said be glad that you're my friend be glad that you know the Lord get glad about it stop being satisfied with what everybody else says about him be glad about it let somebody look at you and you are the mirror you are the billboard you are the advertisement you're the trailer you're the one that's gonna sell the pre-sale tickets you're the one that's gonna write the review about it you're the one that's gonna punch in about it you you delight yourself and then find you some delightful friends that may not be delighted you got to change the way you see him. You got to get delighted about it. You want God to force himself on you and God's not going to force himself on you. You better be delighted. Be delighted. Be delighted. You don't have to put a tattoo on your arm. Write his word on your heart. Somebody want to know what you believe. They got to look at your arm and see you tattooed. They got to find a way into your heart to see how you speak, why you speak, the way you speak, and the way you do what you do. Delight yourself in the Lord. It's a sad shame that we come to church, but we don't delight in the Lord. We've got to be satisfied. Somebody's got to please us, make us, force us. He said, delight yourself in the Lord, and then watch what he says he'll do. If you delight yourself in the Lord, God will start messing with you, and the Bible says he shall give you the desires of your heart. Now what he's saying is, he's going to give you the desires of your heart. Why will God give you the desires of your heart? Because you delighted in him. And so what he's saying is, you don't even know what to desire. And if you don't know what to desire, you don't know what to say. And if you don't know what to say, you won't receive it. So if you delight in me, I will have you to speak what I know is going to happen.